Okay, we're at the well. I vapor locked the pump. Let me show you how to release and stop the vapor lock. Here's the booster pump, or what one looks like, all right. Removing or releasing the vapor lock on this booster pump, or above ground pump. Normally, you'd take two of these cre crescent wrenches. No, not crescent wrenches, pipe wrenches, all right. And then you would place them in this position. Then you would pull these together, pull it, and it will release it. Now, we're not going to do that. Do you believe it? If I told you all I need is a crescent wrench to remove the vapor lock. Let me show you how easy this is, or can be, if you're not, if you're, if it all goes well. If it doesn't go well, well, we have the backup, all right? We can always break the union loose and then release the air lock and the water comes out and you tighten it back up. But there's an easier way when it works. And I'm gonna show you what that is right now. All right, here's your one-way valve. Okay, are you seeing it? All I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring this, put this here, and I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna give it a little turn to tighten just to break it, just a, just an eighth of a turn, just a, just a slight turn to break the, the threads loose, if they are gonna, and uh, then we'll tighten it up. I mean, we'll unloosen it. All right, whenever you have a frozen bolt, little WD-40, then you wanna bring it in the tightening, just like an eighth of a turn, 16th of a turn. You just wanna get it to turn, all right, you see that slight turn? Now we unloosen it, okay? Now we'll back this out. And when water comes out of here, we will let a little water run, tighten it up, and then we'll remove the vapor lock. But I'll show you what's not happening first. All right, the pressure gauge is at zero. I'm going to turn on the pump, and you'll see it will not pump up. All right, I'm going to turn on the pump. Oh, it's pumping. Ha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. But it's beginning to pump up. But I'll show you what I would normally do. All right. But let's see if it will actually pump. Because it acted like it was going to. So let's see. Alright, let's turn it off. Let's see if it holds. It's holding. Alright, this will go up to 50 pounds and shut off. But now, let me show you what I was going to show you. So we can go through the process before I finish this. Alright. Now, so, I take this. Alright. And I would just continue to loosen this. Alright. Alright. So I'm going to completely do finish it. All right, so let's finish this. I'm going to unscrew this. This is hand loose. All right. And I would let water drain, all right? I would take this off. And if I had to pull it out, I would pull this out. All right. And I'd and I let the water, as soon as you get water coming out, all right, you release the airlock. Tighten it back up. All right, and this is what I would have done if it wouldn't have worked. Okay, then you tighten this back up snug. All right. Tighten this up snug. You don't want to over-tighten it. Okay. And I should probably spray a little WD of 40 on this. Now, this one-way valve here is brass, as you can see the color, and which is to prevent it from rusting up. But there are times it will. Okay, so you just want this snug. It's not leaking any water. Okay. And it's not taking a lot of pressure, as you can see. It's starting to get snug now. All right. There we go. Now, we can... All right, we're at 31 and I'm climbing. It shut off around 50. All 
All right, we're just about there. It'll shut off in just a second, maybe 55, 53, but it will shut off here in just a second. All right, let's see what it's gonna shut off at. All right, right at 50. All right, the reason the pressure's dropping, I have a valve open in the house. Now this will drop down to about 30 and kick back on. So I gotta go shut that valve off. Remember, home improvement tips. Check out my how to remove kitchen cabinet doors, kitchen cabinet hinges, and how to stain a window seal. It's a two foot wide window seal. All right, see it's slowly dropping. I gotta go shut a valve off. I got a faucet on. All right. So remember, home improvement tips and never give up because there's always a way. Yes, there's always a way. Always. So never give up and tell a friend it's a win win win. So God bless. Take care. Bye for now. See you on the next one. Pray for this country.